The Six Spring Wetlands at Piedmont Park is a recently restored wildlife area that is home to a number of plant and animal species not found within miles of downtown Atlanta. Besides acting as an attractive outdoor addition to Piedmont Park, the wetland is home to a number of chemical processes that are beneficial for the local environment and community. For example, wetlands play a critical role in the nitrogen cycle. Organisms need nitrogen in order to synthesize proteins and nucleic acids, which are fundamental building blocks of cells and DNA. Nitrogen found in the atmosphere is unusable to most organisms and must be converted to ammonia and nitrate by nitrogen-fixing bacteria, which live in the wetlands. Nitrogen fixation is the process by which atmospheric nitrogen is converted to other, more usable forms of nitrogen, such as ammonia and nitrates. Although necessary for most life on Earth, nitrate and ammonia at high levels can lead to the abundant growth of algae, called an algal bloom. These algal blooms result in mass consumption of nutrients that depletes the oxygen in the water. In essence, too much nitrogen will lead to the death of the wetland, which will in turn lead to the loss of local plants, birds, turtles, frogs, and other animal life that improve the quality of the city's largest green space. Under normal circumstances, the input of nitrogen and output of ammonia and nitrate within the nitrogen cycle remain in harmonious balance. However, excess nitrogen can accumulate from many sources, most notably fertilizers and animal feces. Fertilizers are used to boost the growth rate of grasses, however other plants can be harmed by this higher level of nitrogen. Also, with the dog parks nearby and the seasonal fertilization of lawns, we must be ever vigilant of the runoff that ends up in a wetland area. The United States Environmental Protection Agency recommends that nitrate levels remain below 10 mg per liter. Although ammonia is an unregulated compound, studies show that ammonia levels greater than 2.5 mg per liter tend to inhibit photosynthesis in algae, offsetting the proper balance of the nitrogen cycle. We therefore sought to quantify the ammonia and nitrate levels in the Six Springs wetland in order to explore the relationship between the proper functioning of the wetland environment and nitrogen runoff originating in the dog park and local urban areas. To investigate this, we monitored the ammonia and nitrate levels from water sources at three locations in Piedmont Park. The first location we chose was the center of the wetland. Here we expected that the greatest concentration of algae and bacteria would be present to denitrify the surrounding water sources. Furthermore, the water remains relatively stagnant while receiving inputs in the form of lake runoff and rain. The second location we chose to draw measurements from was the lake in the center of Piedmont Park. This location also contains algae and bacteria in stagnant water. However, the concentration of each organism is small compared to that found in the wetland. This location acts as both a control for measuring the quality of runoff into the wetland and a basis by which to judge the level of nitrification occurring. Finally, we chose to take water samples from an area downstream from the wetland. Here we measured the output of water chemicals as an indicator of the filtering ability of the wetlands. Once the samples were taken from the three locations, they were brought back to the lab to be analyzed. Hawk kits were used to test the levels of ammonia and nitrate in each of the samples. The nitrate level of the wetland is statistically higher than that of both the stream and the lake due to the larger concentrations of nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Also, because the nitrate levels in the wetland and the stream are statistically different, we propose that most of the nitrates produced by the bacteria through the nitrogen cycle remain in the wetlands either to be utilized by other organisms or deposited in the soil. Like nitrate levels, the level of ammonia in the wetland is statistically greater than the lake and the stream. Although not harmful, this level of ammonia tends to cause a foul smell, which you may encounter on walks near the Six Spring wetland. The similarly elevated level of ammonia in the lake hints at organisms also undergoing the nitrogen cycle. The level of ammonia found in the stream is much lower than that found in either with the wetland or the lake. Therefore, we propose that the most ammonia remains in the wetland to be utilized by other organisms. Furthermore, the average amount of nitrates and ammonia found in the wetland did not exceed the criteria set forth by the EPA. Overall, we conclude that the Six Springs wetland is a thriving ecosystem and remains a valuable contributor to the improving quality of water and wildlife within our Atlanta community. We still need your help in keeping this area healthy. You can help by removing excess nitrogens, by picking up after your dog across the park, and by being careful to not over-fertilize your lawn.